Hey y'all, I'm Alex with Soul Mesa, Georgia, and today I'm outside and I'm taking the next step in my battle against the squirrels around here. So I've been in this house for about 13 years, and the past maybe six or seven years, I've been in a battle with the squirrels. I've talked about it with the garden in the back of how the squirrels get up and eat some of the, the fruit or the tomatoes and the peppers and just get into stuff and wreak havoc. But I've also had a problem with squirrels getting in the house. So today I'm attacking the entryway they are using to get in the house. They're coming in through the trees and, or at least that's what the exterminator said last time I was here. He said, I need to cut back some of these trees that are on the house. I was told that a few years ago. My lower back was hurt. Uh, I had the surgery this past summer, if y'all remember, and I'm pretty much 100% now, close enough to it, that I'm comfortable climbing the tree with my bow saw and trying to get at these squirrels' entry point. So I figure if I can take out the uh, their bridge to get into the house, I won't have as many problems. I, I did have squirrels get in a few years, and they were getting into the attic but I had a cage built around one of the vents where they were getting in. They ended up making a net. They got through the cage, made a nest under it, and had babies. One died. It gets all nasty, so be prepared. It died. When things in nature die, nature takes over, decomposes it. That nature was maggots getting in there, falling into my house, reeking like crazy. Uh, they fell on... I have a... Um, uh, attic fan they were falling on so I could hear them up there and then they'd fall through that onto the ground I was vacuuming out the stunk I ended up uh, calling an exterminator getting them all out he came in and put a real cage and that's what uh, I'll show here he put a real cage around it so they couldn't get in to the lower part and uh, build a nest there that there was no way for it to get in there so that's all secure and it's been a few years they're still crawling around they're crawling in the gutters they're just a nuisance and i know they're doing damage up there so i'm taking away their bridge to get in and uh, hopefully i survive this i am also smart enough to know not to tell susie i'm doing this until after i'm down from the tree and safe there's something i've learned through my years this tree here on the right is the one i ended up climbing up so you can see how tall it is. Uh, I got all the way up to about the gutter level here before I decided that was higher than I needed to be. This is the part I was trying to clear out completely. It's literally laying on the roof, just giving the squirrels easy access, and that is no good. And here's a closer look to the tree I was climbing. It's a really easy tree to climb. It would have been easier if I was in better shape, but. Uh, it has a lot of limbs that are easy to grab and uh, so you can see here's one of the basic ones and just trying to take off some of the easy ones that are coming over keeping letting the squirrels come in easily and that was where uh, the weight of the limb falling just uh, knocked the camera down some using the loppers was a lot easier than trying to work that bow saw while holding on to the tree so whenever I had a small enough one I'd do that and here's a look down seeing how high I was. I ended up going a bit higher than this, but I figured if I fell, I'd have enough stuff to, to break my fall every two feet. All right, I'm in the tree. I've got another good sized branch to get, and I just noticed that one of the branches that I want to get is on the next tree over. And it is windy out here, and this tree moves a lot more than I thought it was going to. So I'm taking a break, but I have my loppers and I have my uh, bow saw. And the only thing I've done so far is cut myself once. It looks a lot worse than it is uh, just because it, it just a small neck, but it was all over my hand a minute ago. Uh, but that's not bad if that's the worst I can get. Uh, not that I should say that since I'm still on my way up a little bit further. Uh, I'll show you what I need to do next. So this limb here, I'm trying to move slowly not to, that limb there comes over and it's just laying on the house here. So that's really the one I get, I want to get, 
but I'm not about to climb that far out, so I think I'm going to try to get it right here. Oh, strong wind. That's shaking me a bit. Uh, I'm going to try to cut that, but what I found out earlier is that it pinches the blade a little bit, just like it would a tree um, if you're trying to cut down a trunk. But I'm going to make it run. I'm not going to bother filming it because I have run out of what I feel comfortable doing safely. I'm still shaking a little bit. Just got down. Got a good bit cut though. I don't even have... Oh, uh, well, well, I'm down safely. Still kind of shaking a little bit. The wind's already picking up. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. 20 mile per hour winds today. I got a good bit cut. Only got that one scratch, but my legs are wobbly. I was got tired and I decided to stop when I did. So it was better to stop while I got most of it done than risk doing anything stupid or more stupid but i got a whole lot cut here and yeah you know, i've got to clean that up my legs were shaking my arms still are so you might be able to it might be a little bit shaky on the on the camera so I apologize for that but i was coming back down i was like oh this isn't too bad make my way fairly safely i was like oh, glad i got through that and sorry about the sign I looked up and realized that I had left my uh, bow saw and my um, loppers about 10 feet higher, so I had to climb back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it was worth doing now that I'm back safely on the ground. Would have been happier if I could have gotten it all cut up, but at least I'm on the ground safely. That's a better view of what I've cut down here. Comes all the way over here. And actually, once I was almost finished cutting the biggest cut, I was afraid it was going to fall and break, pull down the gutter. But this one here, fairly thick. Uh, not bad for a bow saw. So, yeah, I'm going to. I, I'll move some of it. I wish I had my chainsaw up here, but it's out in the farm. I did pull that down, but it was hanging loose. Here's a before view. You can see all the limbs and the branches just hanging on to the roof, laying on the roof. And then I come back afterwards, and it's so much better. Uh, limbs aren't touching. Um, everything's better. That white spot right in the middle of the limb, that's the big limb I cut off. So that was directly over where I needed to get. Thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, I don't recommend climbing trees and carrying bow saws and loppers up unless you are in good shape. I'm still a little bit shaky in the legs just because I don't think I've worked them out that much in a while, but I had fun. I loved climbing trees as a kid and it was fun to get back up there and play even if it was with uh, some deadly tools. But I'm down on the ground safely. All went fine aside from that little nick on my finger, which is uh, pretty much dried up after a few seconds uh ended up being nothing and um i am done for the day i'm gonna go take it easy and um, at least i got something done on a sunday afternoon so thanks again for watching subscribe if you haven't yet and appreciate y'all bye